Good morning guys, welcome to Operation Crypto. This is the crypto update where we will take a look at some assets which have been um, asked for by you guys in the previous crypto update video. As ever, we'll start with Bitcoin. It's been a great two weeks so far. Um, in previous videos, I said, look, we need to try and aim above these two candles here. If we get any weekly closures above those two candles there, I think we'll be good and we will really start to push on. Major, major level of resistance is here around 46k i mean i've put that line up there because there's a few weekly wicks on it but if you look at all these wicks within this area here and um, we've had a wick back here several bounces and then we've had two rejections here so that is an area we need to flip i'm not bothered if we don't flip it this week to be honest i'd be quite happily um if we close a candle underneath it but above these two candles here that would then mean it's been a high um weekly candle closure of the entire year so fingers crossed um that does happen if that happens i think then we will start to push on and really attack that that 46k region if we do start getting some weekly closures above there we then can look towards 51 52k around here and the market will follow on just remember though we have rejected off this area around four times on the lower time frame so if we do reject again, it might get a little bit nasty and we'll probably come down and test this region here at 42,700. And then if we did lose that, we will probably come down for another test of 35k. Personally, I do not see that happening. I'm more in favour of bullish price action. We've had a, a torrid time since all-time highs back in November, around 45 months just of pure bears. And it's <laughs> depressing, aren't it? And, and you've seen some, um, some big monetary values wiped away. Um, it's definitely time to to lure some people back into crypto. Um, Daquan is um, starting to buy a ton of Bitcoin now. I think I read somewhere he's got around ten billion dollars to to spend on Bitcoin at some stage. So it might be um, I'm not sure how accurate that figure is, but it's around my number. And he's been buying hundred and twenty five million dollar batches. So let's see what goes on over the course of the next uh, the next few weeks and months. So all in all, that's my thoughts on Bitcoin. Those are levels to, to be aware of. Getting above these two candles here by uh, Monday, uh, 43k is what we need to close, and that is looking so far so good. I've got this big orange um, circle marked here because that's something I'm looking for. I want just a constant barrage of weekly green candles, and if we can con uh, do that again, we should be heading back above that 50k region. Just to take a quick look at ETH, which is above that level I've mentioned in the past. Very similar chart set up. Uh, some of the majors have had several taps on this uptrend line. We've had three taps there um, dictated by those numbers. And I did say, look, we need to start getting back above 3K to re regain any bullish momentum. And we are above that now. So we're looking for closures above these two candles here um, around 31,000, sorry, $3,046. We need to get um, some closures above there. And so far, so good. It's looking very good. First target is getting up towards 3,260. Uh, and then once we're back above there, price action will really start to, to follow. Right, so taking a look at some assets asked by you guys. Uh, when you said chilies, and you're right, I've not covered chilies in a long time. And it is, to be fair, um, one of my favorite assets. Um, just looking at down this area here, firstly, I've not looked at this for a while, actually. Now, let's just mark a few levels up. So we had a rejection there. Come all the way through, and then it's used it as support, as you can see. Major rejection. We then had a monster weekly candle back in March of last year. That was crazy how much it rose. And then we've had a rejection all the way down to here, which is that 16 cent region. And we come back down to it again. So, all in all, this is an area to buy at 15, 16 cent. We've been down there, so uh, maybe four times. So, just be aware of the potential it may not happen. Um, so, if that is the case, you need to have a look at some different levels. And we'll, we'll have a look at this latest move here from the very bottom there to the top, which is there. We then retraced and we're starting to push back up. I think if you're looking for buys still, I would target here at 20 cent. And I would ladder orders in from 20 cent all the way down um, to this area of liquidity down here around 15, 16 cent. So plenty of areas there for you to look at loading up. And then if we're looking for sales, I think the, the first level to sell is around here, as you can see. We've had quite a few wicks which have tapped this area and a level of resistance. So if you're looking for sales, multiple taps of uh, support there, resistance taps. So if you're looking to sell, I think 24 cent could be a decent reason, uh, region, should I say. If you do manage to get in at, um, let's say, 17 cent, 
and you have managed to take it away, you're talking a lot of 37% swing trade, so that's something that you could keep behind it. All in all, uh, most assets do look very similar to this. We've had major rises back last year, followed by major pullbacks, and it is just an opportunity. Crypto ultimately is going to go up at some stage, um, so just keep buying down at these levels. Uh, if it drops further, buy some more if you can, but if not, and if you're in the negative equity, hold on because the, the bulls will return and i feel like they are starting to return now next we'll look at how many one straight away way we'll go back onto a weekly time frame this from highs has not been too dramatic i mean if you look at the top there to the bottom we've had a 70 percent pullback some altcoins have been up to 90 percent so we just need to um really beware that this has not had a significant pullback 70 percent is a lot but i mean let's have a look at that in terms of fib from the bottom to the top Got 78% retracement. If you watch my videos quite regularly, you'll see, look, if a major price action has followed by a major dump, the 78% retracement level on a Fibonacci tends to be a good level to potentially play some orders, and it is a good place for a market to pivot and turn around. So that we're down at, let's call that 12 cent. It's really starting to push up now and pushing towards 15 cent. I think if you're looking for buys, again, we'll have to drop down. Let's drop down to four hour. Let's have a bit of a zoom in and see what's going on in terms of this move. So this is the latest move where we've had that bounce off that 786 level down there. Most pull pullbacks on the way up, but if you look at the entire move, I think if you're looking for buys, I'd target here 14 cent and lad them all the way back down here just in case Bitcoin has another shakeout. We do know that. I'm not sure if it's happened this morning or it happens today, but um, options... Uh, Contracts expires. I think there's around five billion dollars worth of contracts that expire today. So if Bitcoin does get volatile and gets a bit of a shakeout, ultimately alts will come down. So ladder in fourteen cent all the way down to twelve cent. First major level to take profit is this level up here at around seventeen point five cent. Next we have Win. Don't think I've looked at this asset before. Uh, Win USDT. I presume it's that one. Uh, forgive me if I'm wrong, but let's have a look at this weekly time frame again. We'll start off big, see what's going on. And for a couple of next videos, I'll probably start sort of, um, doing a few support and resistance levels just to mark out a few key levels. But you can see this is a clear bottom, can't you? If you put this in even on a horizontal array, which I usually do support and resistance on. So look at this here. You can you can see with your naked eye that's a level of resi um, support. As you can see, it was resistance here, no closures, but and bang straight up. Been down and tested it down here, and then we're getting all these closures pretty much on that line, and it has had a great reaction to it. I think if you're looking for buy, I'd still target down here at 0 0.00028. Uh, I think that's a level, and then first sales should be um, looking to target around there. I think that's the first major level. It was a um, a key support level here, as you can see. Um, resistance level and then it was a resistance level there so that's up at 0 0.0003897 uh, i'm not going to look at any levels above because i think that it's still within this area and um, to get it i think if it did break above here give me a shout and i'll look at some more levels and we'll see if can identify something a little bit higher up and then finally last one is glimmer uh usdt i own some race i got some on crowd loans but i've not looked at it for a long time look at that um uh, i kind of disbelieve that wick but let's have a look at this on the daily there's not much to analyze there to be honest i mean you could say it's now stagnant it's waiting for something to happen in the market and i think if you're looking for buys you've just got to look down at this level here aren't you where we have these closures two closures we had a few weeks below it but then we've tapped it several times there so I think if you're looking for buys, um, drop down to the 4-hour again. We've got this major support level down here at $2.18. If we just look at the entire move, though, we'll put Fibonacci on. That'll give you some levels to, to identify. So if you're looking for buys, I may mad start buying from $2.56 all the way down to $2.18. And then, obviously, the first major level of resistance is easily identifiable there. That is the first major level to look to take some profit. That's around three dollars and forty-six. So that's going to do it for today's video. Just a short, sharp, and sweet. Some thoughts on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and then some altcoins chosen by you guys. If you want me to cover any specific altcoins, drop them in the comments, and I'll cover them on either tomorrow's or the next video, whenever it is over the weekend or on Monday. But I will cover them as always. So that's going to do it for today. If you're new here, uh, please make sure that you are subscribed. Hit that like button. 
I'll catch you next time.